Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about oil and by oil I mean the oil that you get on top of your aquarium. Uh, it varies from tank to tank. Some people don't get it, some people get a thick crust. I'm basically going to describe why it happens and how to minimalize it and even get rid of it. Now I've left my tank um, in a poor state purely because I want to get this layer of oil. I don't normally have this but for the effect of being able to explain it I have created an oil slick. So firstly what causes oil and what is it? Um, it's basically organic matter, any oils that your fish give off, all of the uh, sort of non-dissolvable stuff that comes out of your fish and also it is contained within the feed that you give your fish, it is necessary, your fish do need oils in their diet. But this is basically what is left over. Now obviously oil is lighter than water, so it floats on the top, and you get this basically. So as I've mentioned, it comes from food and it comes from your fish. So if you're getting a lot of oil on your aquarium, the first thing you really want to look at is your level of fish stocking and how much you feed them because purely reducing the number of fish in your aquarium and also reducing the number of uh, the amount of food that you give your fish can have a dramatic uh, effect on the level of oil that you get on top of your surface. Another way of getting rid of oil is simply to do water changes. Now when you do a water change a lot of this oil will be removed um, and typically if you do a water change once a week you don't tend to get so much of this oil build up. The main way that I have found to get rid of oil and to actually disperse this back into the aquarium and get captured by the filter is all to do with water flow. Now as you can see my output of my external filter is really blocked full of plants. Now that is a really bad situation obviously the best thing for me to do would be to clear a lot of this um, plant matter away and let the flow out again. So just to demonstrate the main way of getting rid of this oil you need to have something like this which is basically a flow that disrupts the surface of the water and you can see immediately it starts to break up the oil is getting pushed and once the oil is getting pushed it'll actually start getting a bit of uh, disruption and then it will start sinking. Um, it does take some time you can even have the flow out of the water so you get a bit of um, oxygenation as well. Eventually though with enough flow a lot of this oil will be broken apart. This oil is quite thick um, so it will take a while but you can see it's just starting to move there and what will happen is that oil will circulate around the tank eventually it will come to this part of the aquarium where the flow is hitting the surface and then it will be broken up um, you can't really see a lot from underneath the water but you can see these little specks there that's actually the oil itself and all the, the bits that's on top of the water being disrupted so it can make your tank go a little bit cloudy and you'll get bits and pieces floating around but eventually that will all get taken in by your filter. So thank you for watching, um, I hope this has been useful and happy fish keeping!